Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host Frank the Tank and today we're going to bring in this portable little small heater. Uh, very economical and it comes with a lot of protection, especially the tilt over protection. It comes with 1500 watt power. So and you guys actually use this as an air also too. So it's air and heat. So we're going to take a look at it and see how well it works. And if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, First thing you see is the actual instructions out there out of the bat, right? So very, very well protected. And of course, this is ceramic, so you got to make sure that it's well protected or not, no cracks on there, right? So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, out of the box, very, very beautiful color. Blue, nice little blue color. Heating sources right here. And of course, look at your manual for more information on what each uh, symbolizes. Well, we're going to try to see if we can put a description on every single one of them. Uh, here's the adjustment of the fan the, that circulates the actual heat or air. So you're going to need this to dial out. Now, if you can see in the bottom, it has the tilting mechanism right here. So it, this is very important. So when it falls over or anything, it kind of balance. It has to balance this out and it turns off automatically. Um, ceramic. The built inside, not outside. The outside is a little plastic in here. Um, warning labels on the top, of course. And let's go ahead and put it to the test, see how well it works. So we're gonna start with the fan itself, all right? And this is the on, if you can see it. So right now, I'm gonna push the button here. This is the tilting mechanism. So when this thing is not balancing or it's not on the floor, this thing turns off automatically. If you can see the light indicating that it's completely off. So this tilting area is very important, especially if you're like in a house and you forget to turn it off or your dog drops it or your cat tilts it over or something happens. You don't want something to catch on fire. This is a perfect safety mechanism that it has in there. So for testing purposes, we're gonna put a little piece of wax in here. We're gonna melt it to see how uh, to see how hot it is because then physically you can't show this in a, as a demo. So the best way to show you maybe guys if you can see the melted wax. And right now I'm trying to get it to a point where it's melting. So we're gonna go in wait a couple minutes see how long it takes. All right, if you can see it's melting the wax now, and the first drip is coming out right now. I can see it here. So look at the the tolerance on the action. This is a little piece of wax I'm using as a demo. If you guys can see it. I uh, didn't want to use the whole candle as it is because I don't want to catch anything on fire or anything like that. But the actual wax, I want to see a drop on the on the actual paper. If you can see it, the wax is already melted. And I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I could do more of a of a heating for you guys so you guys can see it without catching the paper on fire. Well it took a couple minutes to see the wax already melted, if you guys could see it. So the actual heater did a really good job of, of getting the wax to melt at a tolerance point. So it's not it's not bad at all. It's super strong. This heater will automatically heat up an entire room. Right now I can feel it through my back or everywhere where it's circulating. Especially with this fan speed that you have on the dial tone here. You can actually move this fans faster to actually circulate even quicker uh, the air flow. And of course... I have this right here. It's melting. If you guys can see the wax, it's melting. It's completely melting the wax. I like it. So we're going to put this paper away. I wouldn't recommend that you guys do a test like this because um, you don't want to catch the paper on fire. I just This is only for testing purposes to see how hot it gets and it's really hot. If it gets hot to a point where it melts um, uh, candles, then it's going to be a good device for you guys. But also another uh, uh, caution. Do not keep anything in front of it that could catch on fire. Um, carpets and other places, you know, make sure that they're tolerant. They're not fire. They're fire protective, and make sure they they could tolerate certain heat. Because if it melts this much wax on the actual paper, it could melt anything next next to it too. So just be cautious about that. And uh, we're gonna continue and talk a little bit more about about the little heater space. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, let me talk a little bit about the side panel first. All right. So right here, this is the off button right here. This is the fan only, and this is heating num level number one and heating level number two. If you guys saw the tolerance on uh, the heating of the melting of the actual wax, it was because it was really hot. It, this will get up a room super hot. I mean, I like this, nice and warm. It gets you that heat right away. It, it melted the actual wax in less than a minute. So I like the way it works. So, but be cautious because that means anything around this front area has has to be away from it. Make sure there's not a clearance of uh, maybe a foot or two before you start putting anything close by. Also, 
the cautions make sure in the back too that you don't have anything near it and this goes through every single heating system they especially if they have a fan mechanism that blows out and circulates the, the room hot air this one has to be a clearance at least at least a half a foot before you start putting it against the wall or anywhere um perfect for spatial areas if you're going to put it underneath the ground under your floor make sure that you clean it up at least once in a while because dust particle bunny uh, dust bunnies and other are uh, particles get stuck in there and then they could start a fire too so make sure you clear that out if it's going to go on the floor um besides that the grill gets super hot so you don't want your children or anybody gets near it um another thing is that you when you're using it as a fan um, you got it's off to begin with and you still have to tolerate uh, maximize the fan so you can maximize the span speed and we're gonna do a little test on the fan speed so you guys can see that so right now we're gonna do a test number one and this is the fan all right and we're gonna put it down on the floor here so you can see it and it starts turning on we're gonna max it ice and I'm gonna put a piece of paper in here so you guys can see it and how well it's working and this is how, how strong the air is flowing right now and I'm going to put it right in my face too. So you can see it. Um, it's really strong. And of course, we can, we can lower it down the fan speeds. This is lower speeds. And then we'll maximize the speeds. And it's really good. It's I like how it works. It, this will keep you a nice little cool area. Especially with the ceramic. It gets cold at a uh, certain point. And it also gets super hot at some point too. So I'm going to turn it off. Like I said, this tilts over and it automatically turns off automatically if i push the button if i push the button automatically turns on off i like that little safety mechanism for tilting over overall the system's very small if you can see it i maximize from dial to to dial tone is under nine inches the, the system itself around seven and a half to eight inches seven inches across seven inches not bad little mechanism now one thing i just suggest make sure that no kids are near it or touching this during the heating heating process because it does get a little hot um just make sure like i said have clearance in both ends i wish they had a little tilting area where you could actually tilt this because this is a pretty much you set it up in one bit you have to have a base for it if it's going to be on your face or anything like that something touching on the ground uh, make sure it's facing you um or your feet or anywhere but this is a one direction um, um there's no tilting or nothing it's just face to face one direction so whatever you point out to here it's going to heat up now regarding heating up a room this will get a room going if you just put it any kind of place in the room. This will automatically start heating up and generating. If you have it near where your hands are, it keeps your whole body warm, so that's pretty good. And people put it on their feet. Yeah, so. so I'm just showing you guys in front of the computer. This is a little small mechanism just to, for a personal space. So that's the only reason that I, I don't see anything like that. But if you guys like something like this, make sure you guys subscribe. 99.2% of you guys are not subscribers and it's affecting the show. So if you guys like stuff like this, let me know. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we are out.